Well, as we continue uh, this 11th week of social distancing, coronavirus, non-meeting together, uh, I thought it would be important for me to just give a further update about where we are as a church. Uh, despite President Trump's uh, statement yesterday uh, that, or the day before, whenever it was, that uh, he now believes all churches are essential and should gather together, um, and we believe that to be true, uh, notwithstanding his statement, we are still following CDC guidelines and following uh, <coughs> recommendations from medical professionals, and we are still practicing six feet uh, distancing from others with masks rec recommended. What that means for us as a church is that we will continue to meet online uh, like we're doing right now in the foreseeable future, and we will have limited special family gatherings uh, for us in worship. And that will happen by invitation primarily to life groups, uh, and that begins June the 7th. On June the 7th at 11 o'clock in our Kempsville worship location, uh, we're inviting graduates and their families to join us while we maintain distancing with recommendation of masks and all those things. Well, we're going to have this family gathering. Now, some have asked, why aren't we getting everybody together and, and packing uh, the pew six feet apart and that kind of thing? Well, simply, uh, the sustainability of that would be very challenging. Uh, the cleaning and all the upkeep that would take place uh, in between worship gatherings, we still wouldn't be able to get everybody, uh, no matter how many times we had worship gatherings uh, on Saturday or Sunday or both, uh, we would still uh, be limited to such a degree that it would be hard uh, to accommodate our entire church family. But also, uh, I don't think it is going to be beneficial for all of us gathered together and not be able to be the church that we are. Uh, which is uh, hugging necks, shaking hands, being close, being with each other, not distanced from each other. Uh, and so for those reasons, we are still evaluating and we will continue to make progress toward, that, toward the end of, uh, of June, uh, hopefully having several limited uh, invitation special family reunions on Sunday mornings for groups in our church, and it will begin June the 7th. So you pray for us as a hard time. Pray for our leaders. Pray for uh, your church staff and pray for me that God would continue to give us wisdom in how to set the course for our church at large. There are some other decisions that we have made. First, uh, we know that all the camps that we have planned for the summer are no longer going to occur. Our senior adult camp is no longer going to occur. Our children's camp and our students' camp camps are no longer going to occur. And we regret that, but it is the, uh, the season in which we live, and we believe that is the wisest, and in some cases, the only uh, course of action. Uh, if you're practicing six feet social distancing with limited capacity, how many buses would it take to get our students to their camp or our children to their camp? On top of that, uh, the locations where those camps would be held uh, are uncertain whether or not that is a viable option. Some have outright said, we don't want those camps here. So uh, because of those reasons, we are not doing senior adult camp, our children's camp, or our student camp. Uh, in 2020. We still have questions about Vacation Bible School, but this is something we know. We know we're not going to have Vacation Bible School the last week in June uh, as normal. Uh, we know that that week is not going to be the week of Vacation Bible School, uh, but we're still evaluating and asking questions, getting the best advice and the best counsel that we possibly can, talking and praying uh, about the, uh, the future of Vacation Bible School in 2020. We just haven't come to a firm conclusion. Uh, chances are, it, if we do it, it will look significantly different, uh, or we may just decide to go an alternate route altogether. Uh, but we're still praying and deciding through that. Uh, so you just continue to pray for us as we seek 
to do what is right in the sight of God for First Norfolk. See, our church has been serving the, city of, uh, the cities of Hampton Roads for 215 years. For 215 years, First Norfolk has been serving Hampton Roads to change the world, and that does not change today, nor will it change in the future. Uh, but we're at a different place right now. And so you continue to pray for us as we seek uh, to fulfill God's purpose and make uh, his mission mandate for us uh, to help those who are far from God find life in Christ. Help us accomplish that mission even now.